said voting rights is not a leftist agenda. It's all of us agenda. It's an American agenda. It's called democracy. Casper the Friendly Ghost. Natasha Romanoff. No! Former Mike Pence advisor to work for George Bush. But we love her. Olivia Troy is here! Yay! Yay. <laughs> I just never thought I'd be saying, yay, Liz Cheney and whoever worked for Pence and George W. Bush, but yay! <laughs> Um, Olivia, sure. lots of, well, first of all, your op-ed was great to your former boss, Mike Pence. I mean, it is, and you put it best, I believe, at the very end of the, of the uh, op-ed. You just said, you know, do you love your country more than, you know, basically your, your lust for power, right? Yeah, and that's what it's really about, um, especially when it comes to the likes of Mike Pence and all of these other more traditional Republicans, I would say, whatever is left of that. Um, I don't even know that I can use that term anymore because I feel like the Republican Party is essentially dead for what we knew it, right? But yeah. that's it. It's just put yourself ambition aside for one second and look at the greater picture and look what's happening here and just care. Yeah. Just care about your country more than anything else that's, right now. Well, yes, and this is you quoting Liz Cheney. <laughs> You said this moment requires us, as Liz Cheney has said, to love our country even more. And you, Mike Pence, need to decide uh, what you love more, the country or your last chance of political power. And as you've tried to tell him, I, as someone that seems to have served him loyally, you know, I, I, he did. you because said I can't uh, imagine with the what aftermath, it would have been so much worse. But I think now, here we are, it's over a year later, we're still, after that election happened, this is still, I mean, the big lie is the Republican platform right now, right? There's no policy. There's no actual real initiatives to help America. The platform is the big lie. And anybody who doesn't support the big lie of the, of the you know, fraudulent stolen election in their words, which we know is just nowhere near factually correct, um, that is how they're running. They're running these candidates. And if you don't agree with that sentiment, you get kicked out or you, you, you know, they pull you off the primary ticket. So I think, you know, I, I think this is a moment where I think someone like Mike Pence.